Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here, MixedMartialArtsForSelfDefense.com. I'm going to show a way of using the carny shoulder lock as an offensive move from Butterfly Guard. Yeah, when you open up guards and stuff, you can always pass. But I tap a lot of guys with the carny. I love it from Butterfly Guard. Shinya Aoki um, almost got it against Jason Kovacante in Dream. And um, at the end, maybe I'll show how you do use it as a rubber guard when the guy's passing the rubber guard defense. But I usually, I get it there from there sometimes at the timing move, but offensively I just beat guys because they don't know it um, from butterfly guard in the cocoon or head and arm position. So, butterfly guard. Butterfly guard I play two different ways. You can play with double under hooks, or you throw in videos on the back breaker. Um, and you know, there's also a rocking chair sweep that's great from there. Or from head and arm position. So if you're playing butterfly guard, Trying to lose it. Had an arm here. I got arm control already. What I'm going to do is kind of kick out my butterflies and release my own leg that's on the same side as the overhook trap. And so what I'm going to do is kick the butterfly and release my own leg. I'm going to keep this trap in chill out position, like over there. And at the same time, at the same time, I'm going to trap this leg here. From this position, I try to keep my right foot, my toes to the mat, to staple his leg, to stop the shoulder roll out that people commonly do as a defense to him apply. So even if they don't know what's going on with the carny, he would shoulder roll out if I didn't trap his leg, he'd somersault over. So I lace this through and trap it, okay, and I, I end up here. Then I go two on one, two hands to one, and just shoulder lock and push him up to the sky. Whatever position that ends up, I can kind of straighter and bar up here, or more like Kimura it up, walking up my leg here. So just do this and press. That works. Keep it simple. Um, Aoki had Kalvakanti posted on one arm and tried to fight one arm against one arm. That's why he didn't really get in dreams that it laying on his side here and pushing this up. So, from the beginning, stay relaxed. Here, butterfly guard, hand arm control. Okay, it's keeping you safe. It's keeping you safe in MMA pretty much if you end up in this position for a little bit. But the butterfly guard is pretty easy to pass with. You know, you don't want to hang out here too long and with the guy. You kick your leg, you butterfly out, put your left leg out, and go to like the chill dog kung fu move position. Okay? I'm lacing this leg through, pushing. You know, I didn't get around that good. Kick this to the outside kung fu move right there. Staple this here. I'm hugging this tight here. I don't want to let this go. Okay, so here, down, here, two on the two, shoulder lock up. Okay, again. See, he's trapped in position. My feet are on the ground. Okay, so this is the current shoulder lock. He's locked in place with this leg staple here. Now, from rubber guard is where it was usually used. Some guys don't like it from butterfly. But man, it's a great surprise move. It's an offensive move. Get that submission of the night bonus. Um, from, from New York position in rubber guard. Or if you're in three-quarter rubber guard, like, uh, or half and half rubber guard, whatever you want to call it. Where Dustin Hazel was against Mark uh, Bocek. Bocek stuffed the weak side knee. That's the weakness of the rubber guard. If I'm here, okay, so here's New York because I have this arm. If I'm here and I'm loose, this is always weak side. I have to either have foot on hip and tight, inward, tight pressure, tight pressure, hugging tight, or I'm up on his back high for a guy who likes stacks here. Whatever your arm So here, you know, so either here for a guy who's trying to posture, or here to tight. You know, he's putting his arm back so we go to try and um, crocodile, stuff like that. But, Anyway, if I'm here and it's loose, or if you're caught, which is almost nothing, a three-quarter, you know, I guess a three-quarter rubber guard, this side's of course even weaker, which is where Dustin Hazlett was against Bocek. Bocek stuffed the knee and went around against the weak side, which is why you stuff and pass the, the rubber guard. Keep your head tight, stuff the knee. As he's doing that, I gotta try and counter real, real fast. Go slow in the pass, but really slow just go. Okay, so, as we're here, as he starts to stuff, immediately, I have to clear his neck, 
go here, start passing. I gotta staple that leg here. Counter. It's kind of low percentage because it's a speed counter move. Action is usually faster than reaction. But that's what you should be looking for if you're in the three quarter rubber guard position or if you've got your injured weak, which means you messed up without good pressure on the side. Any sense of So I'm here. I see this guy's gonna start to stuff, just move the slow, just to take this out. Here. See that side? This is fucking over here. Okay. I suppose, you know, here's the move. If you thought you were bruising at me here, you might sit up to the bottom. You might go here. You might hand it. What's your push start you got? But that's how you use it as a counter, but I like it from the butterfly guy. So that's the carnage shoulder. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to make for self-defense that kind.